Hey guys, it's Sarah from Just My Typewriter, and I'm here today because yesterday I tried to type on my Sears Celebrity Power 12, and I ran into a jamming issue. Now, I tried to clean this on my own yesterday, fix it up so it would work. As you can see here in this footage, I was unsuccessful because I had two main problems. A, I didn't have enough light, as you can see by the headlamp that I'm wearing in this nice video clip, and also I had no clue what I was doing. Now after some research, I found that a lot of these issues can be solved by just a deep cleaning of your typewriter. So today, I'm going to clean out, jam this electric typewriter, and hopefully get it back to a functioning working order. Now I did some deep research and I found that some of the best ways to clean a typewriter involve using um, compressed air or a vacuum cleaner to get out the dust, also using rubbing alcohol so that you don't rust anything. I also have a brush to clean off the keys and a screwdriver and some q-tips. Hopefully I'll be able to get this thing cleaned out well and in working order. If you guys have seen our previous videos, you know that we tried to clean out Jam before, but that was mainly just to get the keys to work. Now we're in a whole new territory where we don't know what's going to happen when I open this guy up. So as you can see here, the plus equal sign key was not returning to its original position as quickly as the other keys were which meant that the hammer wasn't letting the key know it was to return to the original position, causing the key to go berserk and jam. I think this delayed response is mostly due to the amount of dirt, grit, and grime that is living on this typewriter. I'm going to start by taking rubbing alcohol onto Q-tips and cleaning in between the actual key bars and the inside of the typewriter. After this step, the plus and equal sign key is already starting to shift back to its normal position at the same rate as the other keys. But I want to make sure that Jan is completely cleaned out, so I'm also taking compressed air to the bottom of the typewriter to get dirt that is shifted down, and I'm giving the bottom pan a thorough clean. Fun fact, I actually got carded at the checkout for trying to buy this compressed air. While I'm here, I'm also going to clean off the typeface of the keys using a small bristled brush. Many people also mention that faint letters on new ribbon is another common issue that they run into when using their typewriters. By brushing up and down gently across the front of the font face, I can make sure that all the parts of the letters are cleared and ready for typing. Okay, so it's the moment of truth. We're going to turn it back on and hopefully my cleaning fixed the jamming problem. Now the key that was jamming was the uh, plus and equal button. So hopefully that's the one that doesn't go crazy when I turn this on. Here goes nothing. Guys, Jan's jam was fixed. We fixed it by cleaning out the typewriter, which is probably something we should have done in the first place. Now I want to remind you guys that if you are checking out typewriter content, be sure to like our Instagram, Just My Typewriter. We're also on Facebook now, and we have a website, and all of that information is in the description below. If you guys want to see more typewriter content, please feel free to comment. If you have your own suggestions for how to clean out typewriters, electronic or manual, please leave those suggestions below. I'll talk to you guys soon, and uh, if you post this anywhere, make sure to tag Tom Hanks so that he will adopt us and we can clean out more typewriters on the internet. It's a lot of fun. I want to thank you guys for watching and remind you, you're just my type writer.